Okay, I want to make uh, try to make a quick little video on the thread wizards and what I've got done and, and my thoughts on it. Um, we may discuss more after the video and talk about it, but just want to give you a quick uh, something to show you so you can have a better understanding idea of what's going on. Hopefully the noise of the other printer running won't be too distracting on this video. But you can see I've got the uh, some 3D prints of the standard with the Thread Wizard logo and um, designation of what the, what the standard USA. I do have patent pending right under Thread Wizard, but it was so small the resolution of the printer would not pick it up. And this is the metric. They turned out pretty nice for a 3D printer. But what I found out was that the these wire brushes are running about 1.528, a little over a half inch, 1.529. If you turn it around, it's get some different numbers. We got like 1.526, 1.5. 524 so on and the other one is running about 1.536 so they're close but not really depending on where you get the wire at um, and then the thickness is running about quarter of an inch, about 250, and there again it depends on whether you're measuring the bristles, which is almost 5 sixteenths. If you squeeze it on in, you could bring it down to 250. This one, the bristles are not sticking out on it so bad, so we're getting about 250, 240, 232. And so I printed the first one, and it came out pretty close to the original dimension of, that was uh, about 10 thousandths over. I believe this is the one, yeah, that one's right at an inch and a half, 1.93, one, let's see, 1.499, so really close. Problem with this one, at one and a half, these are a little over, so Putting them in can be a real chore, and if you can see that it's causing it to bow. Now, we have to keep in mind that this is PLA and not ABS plastic, so you will have a little harder plastic. I don't really want to force that in there, so I went and printed another one a little larger, about ten thousandths over. Still pretty difficult. So I went even larger, and let me see real quick, uh, I think I went up to about this last one, we're looking at about, yeah, 1.525, you start to get a pretty, pretty good fit, it will go in, of course you can make a jig or fixture to press the press them in and, and I made this to accommodate the smaller 5 sixteenths which will have a plate over it I was going to make one printed one and uh, but we still may have to <clears throat> reduce the size of this thickness of the holder itself that fit in there really good and the other one also, I believe, fits in. See, so you get into a, a certain point there where it may fit too loose. So that's going to, but we're really close, I think, at 1.520, 1.525, and having uh, pretty much what you're going to want to have your mold made at. We may reduce the thickness, but that one's looking pretty good. Uh, no. 
So you may have to have a second operation jig made to force these in. And once we get a ABS plastic shot from a mole, we will be able to determine exactly how much force it will take to press this in. These are running a little off on diameter and thickness, which is, and they're not that bad. They're really fairly close. You could make a jig and true this diameter up some, but that would cost more and a little more involved in assembly. But, and also my other thought was to do an insert mold where you <clears throat> put this in the mold and then mold the plastic around it and actually have the bristles molded into the plastic. That would be really ideal, I think. It may cost more in the mold and um, I'd have to check and see with the mold makers, but I think it would be an option worth looking at anyway. So, uh, but anyway, I'll send you some pictures from the computer generated with some renderings and whatnot. My camera's trying to slip on me here. But that should give you some idea of what we're looking at. And I'll follow up with a phone call or whatever. Thanks.